It is 3.57 a.m. on Friday morning. I started working here in the Atlantic States about maybe uh, a month and a half ago. Pretty much it's an hour and 15 minutes. It's about 74 miles each way to get to where I work at, from Reading to uh, Phillipsburg, New Jersey. So, I mean, pretty much almost three hours a day out of my, out of my day driving. Any type of place in Reading that would offer me what I, what I have right now, full benefits, um, and the rate I'm making. I've looked around, but I haven't seen anything. So unfortunately, this is what, I, this is what it comes down to, making the sacrifice and coming out here. I was in Iraq for about a year and a half almost, almost a year and a half. It's something that completely changes your whole life, changes your perspective onto your everyday life, how you live it. Makes you feel like you can't, there's nothing you can't do. Coming back, trying to adjust was honestly a horrifying situation. My first experience when I came back was, uh, went to this company, I was at an interview, everything was going great. His first question to me was, what have I done? And um, I proudly stated, you know, I just came back from Iraq, from serving my country uh, for about a year and a half. And he just completely looked at me and stated, um, is that all you've done? The fact that I've been out there doing what I did wasn't enough for anybody here. It made me feel, uh, feel pretty worthless. Here in Reading, there wasn't much going on as far as jobs. Um, my wife and I, we just pretty much worked on a $9 an hour job, $10 an hour job, sometimes having two, three jobs. At my lowest point, how much were we making on an annual basis, both of us together, I would have to say maybe 30000 Was that enough to get by? No, not, not with the child. I mean, not with the child at all. I mean, think about Pampers, formula, baby food, clothing. Our son was born. We didn't have no jobs, no medical, no nothing. I mean, it was, uh, then we got the medical bill from the, <laughs> from the hospital. It was about almost eight, $9,000. And uh, we had to pay out of pocket. We lost our house. We lost both of our vehicles. Having a mortgage of $1,500 in two car payments, $10 an hour, is not going to cut it. We're not going to make ends meet with that type of, of um, money as far as working for a temp agency. So by the ending of 2008, the house was already in foreclosure. I came to a point where we had to f rely on food stamps. I mean, yeah, pretty much. It, it just came down to that. Without food stamps, we probably wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have made it. Um, how was it getting services from the state? And um, I'll never forget that. It was the first time ever. I walked into the office and I saw everybody there. And um, it, it felt really awkward because I know I didn't belong there. I mean, I'm a fighter. And uh, we've, we've been struggling and fighting tooth and nail since we've been together. And uh, just sitting there looking at everybody else around me. Um, and it was, it was uh, overwhelming. I started crying. I started crying because I've never been in that situation. It's all right, calm down. <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's uh, coming from, <clears throat> from where we're at. I would say a pretty decent life. But we talk about, okay, well, my guy, you know, we're down to our last two, three hundred dollars, and it's overwhelming at times. The whole time everything was happening, I was hoping I would get a light shining on me, at least get a break in life. Sometimes you feel like giving up on everything because Things just keep piling up and piling up. I mean, all I was just hoping is just for someone to give me a chance to actually show them what I'm about and prove to them that, you know, um, you know, that I can do something. I actually started online college while I was in Iraq. It took me five years to get a bachelor's degree online. One of the good things uh, the military actually did for me was I uh, paid for my college. It was 100% tuition. And then, that's where in Atlantic States, where actually we're heading now. Gave me the opportunity they gave me. Um, full, full time job, benefits from day one, and a management role. Which has been honestly a life changing opportunity for, for my family and I. They gave me the opportunity because of my degree. <laughs> Guys, relax, just relax, all right? From everything that I've been through, I thank God because of my kids. Every day they push me, every day they make, my, they make me feel like a better man. They make me want to be a better man every single day and do anything I have to do to make sure that they have the clothes on their backs and 
they have the food they need. That's what makes me feel that I'm a success every single day. Lovely day. Have I seen the city change? Yes. About four or five years ago, people would actually walk out, I mean, help each other, say hi to everybody, and nowadays it's just people looking down at you or looking straight at you because they think you're gonna do something. I mean, it's just, nowadays in, in Reading, you can't, you can't turn a page in the newspaper without seeing somebody got killed, somebody got robbed, somebody got raped. It's gotten so bad that people are just breaking into houses looking, trying to steal food. Um, how long do I, will we plan on staying in Reading now? Um, honestly, I wouldn't say too much longer. Honestly, um, you, you can't make it here. I mean, everybody that comes here, unfortunately, just stays here. I mean, me leaving the Marine Corps was my first step out of here. And unfortunately, I ended up right back here. And it's, it's been tough to be able to move, move forward, but um, you have to leave to be able to make it, honestly.